You learned that this might not be your child right after you cut the cord? About an hour or two later. <laughs> how, did, yeah. how did that affect you? Oh, man, I was, I was sitting there holding the baby, but developing the bun because the baby been with her the whole time. Mm -hmm. I was sitting there because, you know, I had the baby first when I cut the umbilical cord. She was waiting to get sold up and come to the back. So I was sitting there holding the baby, trying to develop a bun. And later on, um, she was holding the baby and like, um, do the hospital do blood tests? I was like, what the hell you need a blood test for? Yeah. She was like, um, cause I thought I told you that uh, in the beginning that it could have had a, it could. I like, man, you ain't tell me nothing like that. Cause if you told me that, yeah. I would have been here. I well, wouldn't even been here. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. And then she was like, well, I'm sorry and I apologize, but the baby don't, the baby don't look like you and all that. So that's why she, you feel like she played you. Yeah, cause the whole time during the pregnancy, I was like, the whole time during the pregnancy, she was like. You couldn't be nobody, couldn't be nobody else. I asked her, I asked her to make sure, cause you know what I'm saying, things like that happened before. Yeah. So the whole time I was like, you show, sure? ain't nobody else. She's like, nah, it can be nobody else be like that. So I was on Facebook, telling everybody Facebook, telling my other children, telling my other kids, uh, telling my mama, everybody. She was, because I ain't, she, she thinking the baby was a secret. So I didn't want her to think that the baby was a secret. So you trying was, to show that you're yeah, proud. Yeah, I, I want, that I wanted to be there. So yeah. I, I was trying to tell her I'd be there. But, um, Did you think anybody else could be the father? No, no idea whatsoever. None. Period. I mean, I mean, I wasn't with her or whatever. But she was giving me the idea. We was talking, and I ain't really think that nobody else. But at the time that we con was conceiving and having whatever, because I felt like I was the only person that she did it with. But I ain't. But like she, yeah. she was playing me and telling me like we was together and doing everything. Like you je being jealous, acting like she wanted me to be her man or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So. Then I was like, so were you supportive of her during the pregnancy? Once I went to an appointment or whatever and seen the little baby heartbeat and everything, yeah, I started buying car seats and started buying clothes and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Showing that I wanted to be there and showing that I wanted to play my part, that I wanted to be the father that I was supposed to be, that yeah. I wanted to be. Do you think the baby looks like you? Nah, not you whatsoever. Like nah, I mean, I got three other kids and um, I got three other kids. <laughs> the baby don't, <laughs> the baby don't, I mean, Ain't, ain't got my gap, it ain't got, you know, I, when I'm, my other kids, I see, I see the teeth impressions, ain't have my gap, ain't have my, my purple lips, ain't have my fingerprint, ain't have my fingers, my fat fingers, my feet or nothing. Yeah. I mean, it ain't look nothing like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why is it important for you to know this? Because I, I want to be in my child's life. I mean, I want to be, like, I want to establish a relationship with them, and I just... I don't, I don't want to be no dad be dad. I don't want the kid to grow up and be like, oh, my, my, my dad, and I ain't, want, I ain't want to be one of them type kids that he grow up and like, he ain't have his father in his life and that made motivate him to do this. And I want him to be like, yeah, I, his dad helped him. His dad is on the side. Good job. Okay. Well, there's another side to this story that I think we need to get to, and um, that's Alana's side. So I'm ready to speak to Alana. So everyone, please welcome Alana to the show. He wouldn't let me in on what he had going on. Yes, what? I cut him off because he what lied about his living situation. Whenever we do talk, we argue. I can't get to the bottom of anything. So after I spoke with the baby mama, then I cut him off. Mm. Okay. So what's she supposed <laughs> to tell you? What you mean? What she, More what's, than you do. What, what, what am I supposed to tell you? Something. Like well, what? How, well, how long were y'all together at the point where you had called? We were not together. We were only talking or dealing so with each other. what am I supposed to tell you? We ain't so together. So to clarify, we were not together. So okay. what am I supposed to tell you? I had already cut him off, and then I found out I was pregnant. So. How you cut me off? We ain't together. Okay, cut you off from dealing with you. Dealing with you, period. I had already cut that uh, part of our relationship what, off. What was the reason you cut him off? Because he lied. So he told me, um, I'm like, where you live? He told me his location where he lived. He never told me who he lived with. We were you on FaceTime. The question was where we you, were on where FaceTime. You live. We were on FaceTime. The question is where you live. We were on FaceTime and the camera flipped around. So I see somebody wig to the side, some butterflies on the wall. And I'm just like, no Oh, where you at? Where you at? And <laughs> but he's we're not like, together, so what you talking about? Lie, what you we talking about? Together. Okay, so you could have you could have been on. But honest. we wasn't together. So what's the need in line? What what was the need for you to find out? No, and we weren't together. <sighs> okay, try. I was, I was well, we're here. We're going to get the truth today. The funny part is that this, this is one of them dicey situations because it's, it's weird because I see both y'all side. I see why you felt like he lied to you and felt a little betrayed, but I also see why he's like, I didn't lie. Like, we're not together. We're not lying about it. And not. you asked me where I was. How many of y'all think that he lied about it? I want to know. Oh, OK, exactly. yeah, clap. Clap if I you think like, he lied. I feel like he knew more about me. Clap if you think he didn't lie. 
Let's lies. sound kind of even. I mean, so, sound like the lies one. Okay. Okay. I mean, I ain't, I ain't, what, That's what, what could, I'm saying. It's dicey. What could I lie because about? Because he knew more about me. He knew where I stayed. He knew my situation. Of course, I was single. I wasn't with nobody. You knew but my you lied. situation. You I did knew not. my situation. I didn't know you anything. Knew, I didn't know knew, anything knew. about you, and I still don't. Man. So did you know somebody else could be the father? Did I know someone else? Yeah, Could be the father? No, I didn't. Okay. If I knew that, I would have told the truth. What I got to lie for? You told her that. We don't even get along. Why would I? Yeah. Why would I want him to be the baby father? So walk us through the timeline. Because you know I take care of my Okay, let me see. Let me tell y'all what happened. Walk through the timeline. Timeline. Talk. Walk. Walk. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. So. July doesn't matter. That was a mystery guy. Whatever happened, happened. I mean, him up. That was before you, so it don't matter. Okay, so mystery guy is out the picture. That was in July. Me and Charlie met. He came to visit August 15th on his birthday. He played me. Whatever happened, happened. I played you. Because <laughs> we wasn't even supposed to be doing nothing. So what? we revisited each other just to see if, if, if what it was, what it was. Mm -hmm. So we revisited each other on August 25th. But it wasn't supposed to happen, though. We did it again 10 days later, but it wasn't supposed to happen. Well, I was just trying to make sure. Oh, <laughs> I was just trying it. to see, you know. Got it. Uh, this is before I, I... Okay, then I cut Charlie off. Then I met... <laughs> I met me boys. I met me boys. Out. He came, you know, right on time. Me and Charlie was through. I'm single. I'm living, you know, living good. I met boys. Mm -hmm. We kind of talked for a little while. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how, things well, happen. How long ago? That Whatever. Day, things happen. And then I had to test it out again to see, you know, it, it, <laughs> what's what. <laughs> so we kind of, we kind of. I, I ain't know about the second time. <laughs> we kind of tested it out again on September 14th, and then after that, I'm just like, <laughs> around September 20th. Um, I thought I had a hangover. You know, the way you tell this story is messy, girl. It's so <laughs> funny, girl. It's messy, girl. But Not I'm a liar, though. But I'm a liar, though. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. you but are I'm, a liar. I'm, you are I'm a liar. liar though, you, you are. Bro, I'm bro, telling my truth. I don't have nothing to hide. I'm telling you. I ain't even know about the second time. You didn't need to know. We're not together, remember? Why would you even know? I'm walking with me. But you, gotta, but you want to know everything about okay, me, but you didn't I want do. to tell me yeah. what you got going on. If, if you're my baby you daddy, I need You want to know that about me, but you didn't want to tell I me am, about you. I am, is. So, I, what's it, make it make sense. Anyways, I thought make I had a hangover, sense, and um, friends are like, well, take a test, take a test. So I'm like, okay, So you, got, you were sick and you thought you had a hangover. I, told, I thought I had I a hangover. I told to take Because boys make moonshine, so, you know, we were sipping on moonshine. And I thought I had a hangover. But apparently, I was pregnant. So did you tell did you tell? Did you tell Boyce that he could be the father? I did not tell Boyce that he was the father. When I first found out I was pregnant, I told Boyce, I just found out I'm pregnant, but this was before you. I'm sorry you're not the father. And that's exactly how I told him. Okay. Um, so, so then yeah. why didn't you tell Charlie sooner? Why didn't you tell because Charlie? Because my doctor told me, <laughs> my doctor, Charlie, my doctor you? told me that, um, well, when I went to the doctor, I'm like, okay, can you tell me possibly when I conceived? Because I had an IUD, the IUD came out. When, I don't know. I don't know when I conceived. I don't know who the fuck, I, di I didn't know nothing. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay. So what so, happened when you saw your baby in the hospital? He looked nothing like Charlie. I was just no. shocked. I was kind of stuck laying there on the little thing where they cut me open. <laughs> <laughs> I had a C-section. <laughs> I had a C-section, and that's, yeah, that's how he looked at Charlie. He looking at, he looking at me like, <laughs> you ain't my daddy. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, he looking at me like, you ain't my daddy. So, yeah. <laughs> he looking at me like, bro, you ain't right, my daddy. you're not. And he gave me the side eye, cause like, what? So, <laughs> he like, oh, him, you put me right. down. You ain't my daddy. <laughs> so when I saw him, I was just stuck, like. I mean, and I see Hold on, he, he might right? not have been giving you the side eye. He could have been giving his mama the side eye for that time. Oh, line. no, that was Charlie holding him. He could have been giving Charlie his mama the side eye. Him. Charlie was holding him. Charlie was holding him. <laughs> but I was holding him at the time. <laughs> so, yeah, so then immediately, and when they were rolling me out after they, you know, stapled me or whatever for my C section, I'm uh -huh. texting my mom. I'm like, he's really little. Um, he does not look like Charlie. He looks more like boys. See, but she so I'm sending mama, pictures, and I'm she, like, he looks she's like him. She's sending pictures and everything to everybody, but she ain't tell me nothing. I told you the first chance I got. Was, bro, you, didn't tell, you didn't tell me until about an hour later, like, uh -huh. I gotta wait till I go through recovery. But you told your mama I couldn't soon, you got out the hospital, because you got I had my... <laughs> in, in, in. The medicine ain't even kicked off yet, you telling your mama. It doesn't matter. You still ain't, you, you told, but, send, I seen you sending pictures while you was in the, uh, while you was in the bed everybody. Though. I just wanted to get their input on how they felt. Why you didn't get my the input, the my, my, me, my input. So, in this first envelope, we have, because I have two envelopes for you. Because Boyce got tested, too. Uh -huh. So in this first envelope, we have the DNA truth. You ready to open the first one? I am. Oh, no. I think I should open it. 
That's for her. What you need to open it for? You say you're not a father. You've been put through me enough. I, 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 I need to be the you, I need to be the You say you're not a father, truth. right? Well, you say I ain't either, so I want to know. What does that say? Voice is not Asher's biological father. <laughs> wow. What you say you was going to say? What I, gonna, what I said I was going to say? Voice is not the father. Well, you must have got somebody else then. Well, it's got to be you. It's nobody man. else. Well, you told us in your timeline it is. that you got this graphic. I don't even know how y'all built this graphic with my team, but <laughs> um, you said July there was a mystery man. That's nobody. That's nobody important. Well, we have the second envelope that contains more DNA truth. Are you ready for this? Hand it over. Because it has to say Charlie. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I need to find the truth on this one. No, you don't. No, you yeah. No, let me get this here. No, uh, I've been put through enough. I've been put through enough. I got to find out. I got to find out. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie's Bruh. the father. Ain't no way. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> That's real, oh, if that's what it says. Charlie. No way. Charlie is the biological father. It said father. Charlie is our... <laughs> Charlie, hey, hey, baby daddy. <laughs> baby father. Ain't no way. Bruh. That is I'm so gonna crazy. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. Okay, Charlie, I know you say ain't no way, but at the end of the day, there you're is happy a way. right now. You've been here. You've been here. You, you just told us, you just told us you, you, it's not fair <laughs> yeah. to little man yeah. that he's going oh, through this. I don't want to deal with her. I don't want to deal with you. So it's good. You live one it. place I'll, and I'm I live tell you the this. other. I'm going to tell you this. Yes, you do. There is a love here. And I believe that if y'all can start moving with honesty and compassion, I think that this will grow not only healthy for the child as co-parents, but I do believe that y'all will be great friends and maybe more. I would not be surprised, and I'm good at predicting this, in a year or so if y'all were in a committed relationship. And I'm going to check back. Okay. And I believe it. Watch. I'm going to see. Y'all going to be in full house. Y'all going to be together. You can shake your head or nothing because he's showing up. But that's going to require. And I'm, I'm going to tell you to this. I'm now how I'm going to deal that's with required. it. Oh, that's required. That's required. I'm going to tell you this, Charlie. This is what's going to require you to continue to be transparent. Because what she needed from the beginning, and I think, honesty. I, is honesty. Right. And so hold on. I know as men, I know as human beings sometimes, that we can say, well, just because I omitted this doesn't mean I lied. But omission sometimes can be a gray and murky area where it can give someone trust issues. And if you really want to have a healthy relationship for your child's sake, no omissions can happen with her. So the more you can be transparent about like, hey, I'm with this person, I'm doing this. It got to be both ways. I agree. I believe both of you can do it. I believe both of you can be transparent. I believe both of you can take accountability. Mm -hmm. And I believe that this baby's going to have a very full life of a lot of laughter. Okay? Right. I do believe yeah. that. Because y'all funny. We funny. funny. Y'all find it. But I also, I also heard, I also heard, I also heard the situation that you were going through financially and things like that. So I want to offer y'all a little help. I want to go ahead and buy some diapers, some new clothes for the baby. Aww. Does that work? That's nice. Is, is that the first gift from Uncle Karamo? Now that, <laughs> now that we know y'all the parents. All right. Right. Y'all, good for that. Appreciate it. Good. good. I think y'all gonna be all right. Y'all gonna be all right. Y'all feel the same way? Y'all gonna be all right. Let's go. Want more unlocked phones? DNA reveals and family drama? Then make sure you're subscribed to the Karamo Show YouTube.